Tick tock. What a weird place. What a weird f place. Now, those of you who are following the channel probably know me from TikTok, I'm not gonna lie. That's probably what brought you here. That's probably why you follow my content and probably why you watch me. Some of you may be new to my channel, uh, TikTok or YouTube, in which case, subscribe, thanks. And talking about TikTok recently is so much a different conversation than it was even a year ago. Prior to quarantine, TikTok was mostly Gen Z, or Gen Z to my American friends, doing the renegade. Cash on me, I got hit the Doing obscure trends. Carol Baskin killed her husband, whacked him. Maybe putting their own health at risk to do something dumb for 13 seconds. But then quarantine hit, and us millennials moved in and made TikTok a weird place. Not that it wasn't already, but we made it even weirder. And not just because you saw 40 year olds twerking. Now I somehow hit my stride in about June 2020 uh, and started to gain followers. And then in September, it kind of rocketed to the moon. Um, and I guess in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about that. Kind of how I went from having no followers to over 200,000 at this point. I'm also going to talk about, I guess, how I got those followers but in a way that you won't probably expect. I may also tell you about some of the weird things that have gone down as I've grown as an account. Now my account at the start of 2020 looked sort of like this. I kind of chart my TikTok growth in five stages and I'll run through them each because they're all so different and so weird. So the first stage is nobody ash. I had less than hundred followers. Nobody knew who I was. I was, kind of exploring TikTok at this point. I was looking at trends. I was doing my own take on them, but mostly I was just doing my own thing. Um, not really expecting it to go anywhere. <laughs> then came phase two, quarantine ash. This was me having a mental breakdown for months <laughs> in a very relatable way. This is kind of where I hit my stride initially. This is This took me from less than 100 followers to about 10, 9,000 followers, 9, 10,000 followers. And was basically me just dicking about. It was me putting my most bizarre, most honest, most raw feelings and thoughts out into the world in a funny, relatable way. I started to attract a following that revolved kind of around positive mental health and a bit of simping. And this is where I met, I guess, the first group of friends I made on TikTok. Now, side note, friendships and relationships on TikTok have been a roller coaster for me right the way through. And through three of the phases of my TikTok growth, people have come in and out for various reasons, some good, some bad. So I'll do another video on that at some point about how TikTok can impact relationships and friendships and either through the app or or externally outside of the app as well. Um, that, that's, that's a much bigger topic to cover in another video. Uh, so yeah, keep an eye out for that one. Subscribe below. Now on to phase three, Captain of the Pirates. This is where I really hit my stride. I had made some friends on TikTok. Uh, I was dating someone from TikTok at the time. And I was told that I looked like Captain Killian Jones from Once Upon a Time. Naturally, I ran with this, made it my own, added a bit of spice. Let me add a little bit of spice to that. And became Captain of the Pirates. I did this in two videos, one of which was banned from TikTok because I was carrying a giant sword. <laughs> Phase three took me from about 10,000 followers to about 27,000. And then we enter phase four. So far the biggest. Serious Black Ash. This took me from 27,000 followers to over 200,000 followers in just shy of two months. Self five. Harry Potter TikTok is a weird place. It's a wondrous place where I have made some of the best friends on the app that have become friends outside of the app. Harry Potter TikTok welcomed me so quickly with open arms into a character that so many people are passionate about and who I now get to embody. Sirius Black is a character that I resonate with so deeply, I don't even have to act when I'm portraying him. I'm just myself. We just happen to be the same exact person. Stage five 
is cosplay ash, 2021 ash, future ash. Through Sirius Black and through Captain Killian Jones or the Captain of the Pirates, I somehow became a cosplayer, something I've always wanted to be. Never had the confidence, talent, skills, still don't, patience, money, platform to do so. I now call myself a cosplayer. And through this, so many opportunities have been opened up to me, both on TikTok and outside of TikTok. And they're continuing into 2021. This will be the next phase of my TikTok growth, my TikTok account, my YouTube growth, my everything. It's unexplainable. It's insane. And it's all by posting 10 second videos on TikTok. Now, I know what a lot of people watching this video are thinking, okay, we get that. That's how you grew. You played Sirius Black, but how the hell did you grow? How did you do it? Like, just playing Sirius Black isn't enough to grow. How did you grow on TikTok? How did you get 200,000 followers? That's possibly the easiest question to answer out of them all. I will do a video on growing on TikTok and making the best content and everything to do as you do grow on TikTok and things to watch out for and things to jump on and opportunities that may arise. But for me, how I grew on TikTok I never once made content to gain followers. I made content for the followers I already have. I never use hashtags. I never use captions. I never do trends. I never do dances. My content has always been there for enjoyment, for advice, for honesty, for connection. That's how I grew on TikTok. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video about my journey on TikTok, my rapid growth on TikTok, and my future on TikTok. Hopefully you'll all still be there to watch it all and see the content I do put out on TikTok, but obviously this is a new platform for me. YouTube is very new to me. TikTok is short form, and I wanna spend more time with you guys in this long form video format and be open to questions and, and give more thorough advice or show you more about me and my personality, the things I get up to in a day, things about my life, the things I enjoy, and anything else you guys want to see. So please, please, please comment down below. Tell me what you want to see. Tell me the format you want me to present all these things in. Whatever you guys want, I will always do my best to provide. Remember, I don't make content to gain new followers. I make content for the followers I already have. I love the Val Monsters. I love you all. And I can't wait to spend more time with you on this platform, on TikTok, and on anything else we do together. So I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe. Bye, guys. Love you.